Hello and uh, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a UI that can move around, which means that you can take a mouse, click it and drag it and place it, your UI elements around. So you're not limited to the place where you set them in the default Godot editor. So sit down and follow along. We will uh, start by uh, creating a simple uh, UI element just for this tutorial. So let's go ahead and create a 2D, 2D scene and add a canvas uh, layer. <clears throat> and there is that one. Let's put in a panel container like so. And uh, let's um, <clears throat> um, change up the size a bit. So, 100 500. And also, I want to have it centered. So, I changed the anchoring to center, just like so. Then, let's add a V box. Uh, and then this here. Um, and just add some label. Let's call this uh, very cool UI. And while we're at it, we can also center it. Um, the text and not the the whole size of the node and let's put in a texture uh, texture rect like so let's give it a texture we can quick load let's use the icon the one that comes standard with the project like so Just, let, just let's expand that one so it fills the whole uh, container. Um, and we also want some text here. It doesn't really matter. Um, <clears throat> I'll expand that one as well. And then... Uh, Let's have a button so we can like close this UI. All right, great. Uh, okay, so let's attach a script to not the canvas layer, but you know the level below the panel container. So attach a script. And I want to have a signal from this uh, from the exit button. Connect it just uh, We just hide it by clicking the exit button. So now if we test this one, it should uh, <clears throat> it helps if you do it correctly, not visible. Yeah, okay, that works. So now we just have like a pop-up window which can be whatever you want for your game, but it's stuck in the middle, you know. It's, it's nothing I can do with this one. So in order to actually be able to move it around, we need to do some changes to it. So the first part is that we are going to add a button and we want to have it um, uh, right 
<coughs> before this VBox, VBox container. So let's add a button. Before. So now that this button is, uh, you see, it's covering the whole panel container, which is exactly what we want. Uh, but we really don't want to see it, you know? We, we just want to feel like we're dragging something around, not that we're actually clicking a button. So what we can do is that we take this button and we modulate it to invisible. So it's it's still there, but you just really can't see it. And we need to connect some signals from it. Just the button down. And also the button up. Like so. Now I have the, these two new functions there. Probably confusion with the names. So uh, let's say, uh, Call it the uh, drag button or something like that. <clears throat> so just remove the connections and uh, remove this one. I'm just going to test and check that the other one still works. Yeah. Okay. Back to our button. Button down. Connect. Button up. Connect. Okay, um, <clears throat> so let's create some variables. Call it a button pressed. This is a boolean, so it's going to be false. But if it's down, it's actually going to be pressed. So then we set it to true. When we let go of the button, it's going to be false. We also need to check the mouse position when we actually click. So previous mouse position equals it's going to be a vector two actually. Um, so we can just initialize it with zeros. So uh, when we actually click the button, we want to know which what this one is. So, mm. Get the viewport and then get the mouse position like so. Then we have our uh, process delta function. So here, all we need to do is to first you have to check, you know, uh, if uh, the button is pressed. If it's true, we're going to uh, update the mouse position. Current mouse position equals let's report. Uh, Save as last one. <clears throat> and we need to see how that differs from where we first, first clicked. Mouse delta, which is the change in the mouse position. Current mouse position versus minus the previous one. Then we set the position of the panel container, which is you know the, the node where this script is it's is attached to. Um, 
to the mouse delta. And then we need to update the previous mouse position so it's so it's uh, updated with where the mouse is now. So it is continuously updated. Now let's test test this and see how it works. Okay, nothing yet. There is something missing here. Um, Okay, let's check the process to, to true. Um. Okay, it's still not moving uh, around, so... Um. Ah, okay, okay. The thing is, um, <clears throat> when you have another object on top of the button, the mouse click does uh, it will not go through. So what we need to do is actually to find this element that is covering, and we have to make sure that our uh, um, mouse can click through it. So um, mouse, yeah, filter, and Ignore. Um, so I have to set mouse to filter ignore on uh, all of this, but this one was already right. Yeah. Mouse filter ignore. Uh, the button we don't want to ignore because you know we want that button to actually exit. So let's play now. And there we go. See? Now you can just that, uh, click and drag it around. All right. That was it for now. So if you like uh, this video, then please you know, like and subscribe and uh, follow along for more tutorials in the future. Thank you.